So in this video, I'm gonna give you a complete beginner's tutorial on how to use the GoPro Quick app for editing really, really simple, cool looking videos. So the Quick app made by GoPro is like a really, really cool app that you can get on both your desktop and your mobile for easily editing videos. Let's say for instance, you go out shooting on your GoPro and you wanna to put together a really, really cool edit, but you don't wanna spend hours and hours editing. You just want literally an app that you can put your videos in, create a cool little edit, and then share that video with your audience. And that's what this app is designed to do. I'm gonna jump over to my phone and I'm gonna show you how to edit a really, really quick video on the app in less than five or 10 minutes. And I'm gonna give you a complete tutorial on how the app works, so you know all the ins and outs, all the different things you can do, how much customization there is, everything. We'll jump over to my phone and I'll show you how this works. So we're over on my phone right now. I've downloaded the GoPro Quick app from my app store. There'll be a link below this video if you wanna go and grab that. I'm gonna open the app up. And as soon as we open the app up, what we need to do is we need to connect our GoPro to the app and then drag over our videos or photos. In this case, we're gonna be focused on videos. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi is turned on and then you are going to follow the on-screen instructions to connect your camera to the app. And once it's found it, you'll see it at the top of the screen. It should come up if you've already connected your camera to a device before. On there, you can go into the camera and you can look at the media that's on your camera and bring it across. Just make sure your camera is turned on to do this, obviously. Okay, so I'm going to click on view media. It's going to load up the media and we're gonna be able to select the videos that we want to have in our edit. Okie dokie, so it's bringing up all the videos that are on the device. So we are just gonna keep this really simple and just click a few videos in here just to show you guys what it's like. I'm gonna download it. It'll tell you on the GoPro that it's transferring media and it will also say on your phone that it's calculating how much time is remaining to copy the videos over. Okay, we've done. I'm gonna click on the X button in the corner I'm going to go back and what we're going to do is once we have our media on the app we want to click on the bottom where it says studio and this is going to bring up gopro's editing studio okay and we're going to click on create and edit and now we're going to select the videos you want to use one thing that's worth mentioning here is that you don't have to offload footage from your gopro to your phone and quick app to do this you can actually edit videos that are already saved on your phone so as you can see here a lot of these videos are already on my phone which i can just drag straight into the app now if i click on the app we should see the videos we've just uploaded click create my edit and this thing is really really clever and it really does take out all the confusion and stress and time taken to create a cool edit. As you'll see here, it gives you a timeline, it has the videos on there, and this is completely customizable, okay? So we've got tabs across the bottom, timeline, themes, music, length, and format, and then we have our clips above that, and then we actually have the preview of the video in the main screen. We can change all this, we can have an introduction, so we can have my bike ride, we can edit all this. We can set the duration of how long this stays on for, so we can choose long, regular, or short. And then we can scroll across and we can also click these plus buttons to add more media to our finished video. And we can edit these videos individually as well. So we can click on the video and you'll see at the bottom it brings up a set of new tabs that we can use, okay? So this may get quite confusing to start with, but once you have a play around with it and understand what each of the functions does, you can start really getting to grips with the app and really, really having fun with it. We can trim the video to start with. And obviously this video is like 50 seconds long, so it's quite a long clip. The good thing about GoPro Quick is that it has this thing on here called auto highlight. So GoPro will actually pick out where it thinks there's some good Good motion in the video some good action points and it will trim sections of that video for you so essentially it's already done this for me here it's picked out two points and we can pick more if we want we can click this plus button and it will add another section in there and it also beat syncs as well so I'm guessing this will change the frame of the video in line with your music choice if you want music we can also change the frame of this so we can decide what fit we are going to be using the video on. For instance, if we wanted to post to social media on Instagram or TikTok and we wanted to have it in a 9x16 format, we can do that. Or if we wanted a 1x1, one one, so a completely square image, 4x3, we can do all this. There's so many different options you can have a play around with. And I think this video would go on for too long if I sat and walked through every single feature. But if you do want the absolute complete tutorial on GoPro Quick's 
app, plus much more on how to edit, share, and capture better videos with your GoPro. There is a link below to my full online course. We can also add filters to this. So, oh, it's got music on. We can also add different filters. So we can change the color of our video. So we can really give it that personalization. We can adjust the volume of both our music in the video and the actual sound coming out of the camera. We can also add text to our videos. And we can also adjust the speed of each clip as well. So there's literally many different things you can do on this app. If we click done, so obviously we click done out of here, we can move out back into the main menu and we can start playing around with the, the broader theme of the video. So if we click themes, we can actually choose loads of these different predefined formats of these videos. So if we click raw, you'll see that GoPro has like a predetermined theme edit your video to, video to. And again, you can edit from here. So these are almost like video presets. There's plenty of music choices on here and you can even decide not to have music. If you don't want music and you just want the raw sound of your bike or whatever you're filming, again, you can do that. So I've obviously uploaded like two or three minutes of footage here, but I don't want my video to be two or three minutes. I want to select the best bits from each video and just upload them into one cool little edit. And actually GoPro's quick app has a way of doing this and it'll tell you, like if say for example, you wanted to upload a video to Instagram, it has a predefined setting on here that has 18 second video. So you click that and it will then create an 18 second video with those highlights in and on what it thinks best is gonna be most engaging. So there's all sorts you can play around with. Again, format, we can format the, the size of our video. That's nine by 16, I think. And then once you're happy with your finished video. We're obviously back in the studio menu now and we, we, we should be able to see all of our videos lined up here. If we click the three dots in the corner, we can then simply rename it if we want to. We can duplicate if we want to make another video and we can then upload it to our phone. So here we go. So the arrow that's pointing up, we click this and then we click save to photos. Export quality. Cool, we can export it in 4K, which is great. And then it will save the video directly to your phone. So that's a basic introduction and beginner tutorial into the GoPro Quick app on how you can edit really, really cool videos pretty fast without spending hours sat behind a computer in bloody iMovie or Premiere. I hope this has helped you. And if you want to uplevel your skills with your GoPro and learn more stuff about this little Cool little camera. There is a link below to my complete video course which will show you how to create better videos, including how to capture them, how to set your camera up, all the best settings, how to edit properly in desktop and mobile, more than just the devices like we've just talked about in this video, and more than just quick, there's all sorts of different hacks and tips you can use. That's in the description below. But GoPro's quick app is a perfect starting point if you're just looking to make some really, really fast, cool edits from your GoPro. So I hope this has helped. Give this video a like if it's helped you out and we will see you in the next video. Take care, see ya.